So, we're back at, uh, apparently our room. Do's and don'ts. There's a rabbit there. Filled with lots of your clothes. So it's not a passageway anymore. Hey, buddy. She's not speaking. Chelsea? No, she's oddly silent as well. Joshua, you probably have something to tell me. Nope. And let me guess, Stella's gonna not. Stella is not gonna say anything either. All right. Uh, let's go upstairs. No, he's not here. The teacher's room was on the first floor. Teacher, here we go. No response. Let's look at his face. Teacher. Good night, teacher. And that's our first ending. <laughs> Um, just make sure. There we go. Here's the credits! So, I wasn't too far off from the actual ending of Alice Mayer. Uh, there are apparently seven or eight endings. I'm gonna have to look around the, um, the spinal area a bit more, because I th think there's something here. I might be wrong. Uh, I will go back to a previous save where we're still in the uh, homeworld since White Rabbit gave us a key. And then talk to one of the four there because that's. There's four endings in the homeworld! And I'm trying to figure out where else I can find the other endings. But I will admit, Alice Mare had its ups and outs regarding scares for me in those last few riddles. Music was nice throughout. A little loud at times. Cheshire with his music cues and jump scares. I'm not too sure who's my favorite. Granted, I wasn't expecting to get hit, punched in the heart by the teacher. And Alice Mayer. And good night. I have one of. Alright. Let's go back a couple of saves. I, I saved like when we were in here. So. Hey, buddy. Stab with key. This music still creeps me out. Buddy? No response. A burgundy notebook. Read. There was a butterfly in the garden today. I tried to give it a cookie. Teacher gave me, 
but the butterflies seem to like the flowers better. Are the flowers tasty, I wonder? Or are they sweeter than sweets? It rained today. Rain makes everything all damp. And you can't play outside. I hate it. I found myself thinking it would be nice if all this rain were candy. Anyway, I need to do some goal work, though I've been slacking. I mistook Rick's notebook for mine, and he got angry at me. I don't. I didn't look at the whole what he wrote, but I know he looks so sad. I'm a bad kid, teacher. I'll need to properly tell him that I'm sorry later. I know why. Why I burned mother and father and the house. But I won't say it. It'll make Rick sadder. I need to be stronger. Teacher, please teach me more things. And that's Letty's ending. Oh, it's a different uh, set of credits. Ooh, I wonder if that last image is her meaning Rick, er, the teacher, not Rick. Or maybe it could be Rick too, it's hard to say. Rick? My, you're already asleep. I should go to bed too. Teacher will get mad. Hey, I wonder how many more times I'll be able to tell you goodnight, Rick. The two of Maybe, uh, the good character you're playing is Wreck, actually. Who knows? Uh, let's go back to the save. Sorry, Chelsea! And the uncomfortable music is back. right there. There we go. It was very scary in the afternoon, when the sky turns all red. I really don't like thunder either. It sounds so scary. Teacher, can't you change the color of the sky? Today, Letty invited me to play outside. We played in the flower garden, then I saw a caterpillar on my shoulder. I yelped and cried. Joshua was nearby, and he took the caterpillar. I asked him what he was doing, and he said he was collecting frogs. To put on the teacher's head, I bet. Be careful, teacher. Teddy's arm came off. What should I do? I'm scared. He's falling apart. What if the same thing happens again? Help me. That night, I had a dream where I saw it again. Teacher, I'm sorry for asking the impossible, and it's so late at night, too. It just hurts. I can't let it happen. Will it happen again someday? Will the day come when I can live with mother and father?
Spots of black look a little odd for the faces. This looks like it just been smudged out afterwards after the sketch was initially done. to load back. Oh! Why did I kill the wolf then? I had no choice but to kill it. Father, are you well, mother? Please hurry. I need to stay well too. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I forgot that Chelsea was sick. Color red. Okay. Uh, I guess Josh, you're- oh no, oh. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go with Stella. Sorry, Stella! I'm not gonna accidentally type Stella. <laughs> Ooh, darkness, weariness. Still nervy. <laughs> Black and Brief, no, but Brief. There's a small church drawn in the corner. A drawing, lots, a lot of drawings of apples. One page is com colored completely black. Teacher's eyes, the same, pitch black, strange. The same eyes as that town, yet he breathes. Why? That was a short bit. They died again. Everyone died. Why don't I die? Why am I still breathing? I'm scared to sleep. Someone might die again. It might be me next. There's an apple. And now, uh, that was Stella. Stella. Joshua. Sorry, Josh. I don't, 
yeah, you think Joshua would be closer to the middle, but I guess not. Joshua. Turquoise book. Today, I found a frog with a weird pattern on it. When teacher was sleeping, I snuck into his hood. I think he likes it. I also put one in his desk, in his pocket, and no, in his head. It's been getting cold, so I, it was tough to find them. I think we got way too much homework. Why does homework have to be such a pain? That kid who arrived? Alan? He seems super smart. I'm impressed. Of course I'm doing my homework. Don't doubt me. My hat was, was gone when I woke up this morning. I got really uneasy. Finally I found it under my bed. I thought I was gonna die. Why did I feel that way? Why did I say such a thing? How did I feel back then? I don't remember what I said or what I haven't said. It's definitely best not to say anything, but they won't look at me if I don't speak up, will they? Sorry for everything, teacher. And credits yet again. And I gotta admit, Josh probably has, well, like, all of them have tragic backstories, but the fact that Josh probably came across the death of his mother. Granted, well, judging from what we see in his, the groom role there. I mean, it looks like he wears a toque, which is a, a, a hat, a hat or a beanie. kind of grows into it. Does the moon only have a round shape, or does it a square and a triangle too? It doesn't snow in summer. Yeah, that sounds right. Cats aren't as big as a bus. Can't be. And dogs too? You need a coat in winter. Don't need one in summer. Then what about me? Was I needed or unneeded? You were needed, Josh. Don't worry. Okay, so that's all the four of them. Like, there. You don't really need. Oh yeah, the, that's the bathroom. I forgot completely. <laughs> Picture on a note from Teacher's Locket. It's the boy from earlier, and a girl who resembles him. And this note. I am in a beverage, but I'm not in a rink. I'm separate, but not in a part. Okay, that's all. Okay. Uh, I'm in beverage, but I'm drink rink. Um. 
Apparently there might be a slight translation error. I think it's supposed to be drink. Because for some reason it looks really weird to see rink and uh and there's beverage before it. So just throwing that out there. I'm in separate, but I'm not in, not in part. I'm in seven, but not seen. So because it's seven there and it's seen, so the V's there. A, I guess. D, because you're trying to make a name with this, but from what I can tell, but the riddle's a little weird because separate is not spelled like part. I am in drizzle, but not in ran. I think that's a translation there, there too. I think it's supposed to be rain. I'm in cart, but not in automobile. Yeah. I was not looking forward to this riddle. Oh, there was something else I needed to check. Okay. Items. Oh, I don't have it there. Hmm. Let's try Dave. Read. Nope. Okay, it's not that. So I was on the right track for the first three letters, but it, it, like, the last one threw me off completely. But like, Dave was partially right. The full what is usually David David's shorthand for David. I've returned to my own world, Fiona. Stabbed my uh, stabbed. Wait, Fiona stabbed herself with a knife. So that wasn't teacher in the other world. Wait, was it Fiona who had that dream? Then I must be dreaming too. No, I don't want to lose her to sacrifice her. Fiona is still sleeping. The demon will eat her soul. There's not much time left. With all my teachers, with with all my teachers given me, I can go back, go to school now. I'm rather reluctant to. I got involved with one particularly annoying person. He, he's named Cliff. I don't want anything to do with him. I pray he can let me have some peace. That evening, Fiona's soul was lost. I wasn't in time. Now what am I going? What am I doing? Going? Yeah, that's a typo. Um, what am I going to do? I played with Cliff again today. He told me some interesting things. I was wondering how it would go when he dragged me out. He's a good person, very good. So, teacher is retiring tomorrow. Seems she's having a child. I'm going overseas. I'm anxious, but Cliff will be with me, so I should be fine. Apparently, my novel won a big prize. Cliff submitted it somewhere. I got in a little fight with him over it. Fight. Not flight. I told him if, I, if it were going to be popular, I'd use his name. Then I went to, my, went to my room. I don't have any interest in that. I've been having the same dream lately. A dream of that day. Is she angry or is she suffering? I have to destroy that dream. Quickly. There might be another like her. Or like me. Just what is XXX? Maybe I do know. I suppose first, I'll repair our friendship. How many years has it been since I said I'm sorry? Okay, that was a bit of a twist. But I might be confusing things. More overlooking something. There's a cat. Cheshire just kind of up and vanished. He's like, yeah, and then gone.
Good morning, teacher. Look, another one came today. Ha! We're gonna run out of play of places to put them. Letty was the same as ever, always eager to play. Chelsea's slowly starting to talk to others. She's very good at cooking as well. Joshua told me he found someone he likes. Stella looks like as weary as ever, but she seems to be having fun. Mr. Cliff and the others who look after us are all very nice people. There's no way we could forget. We'll always think of you as our teacher. Because you destroyed the dream and saved us, we'll never, ever forget. There's a very low chance of success, but we are looking for a way. Until then, we'll keep sending it. We'll send what we you said you didn't know. Until then, good night, teacher. I set me of love. Okay. I think there's, like, one more ending. I think I got all the shards of XXX. But I don't know where it takes place. Huh? No, it's nothing yet. I just feel a little odd. You might not want to get too close to that. Touch! Ah! Oh! oh! Just noticed? <laughs> what an odd boy. Very odd. I'm just a bit lost. Would you mind guiding me? It's fine. You should be able to see the way. I can't see too well. Me? I'm Fiona. I think that's what it what it was it. You yes, you smell like tears. I'll call you crybaby. My name's Alan No, I have no soul mo anymore. Just tiny er, just little tiny shards. It's his fault, all of it. Even the fact that I won't be reborn. Yes, yes, indeed. He's always been that way. Letting his hair grow long. I'm sure he's learned how to cut it in a lo a long time ago. Honestly, it's so wimpy of him just to be unable to forget. He needs to break things off. He's not going to get anywhere dragging around all that weight. Not even knowing that, for all his smarts. It pisses me off. He's an idiot. He is stupid and super moron. Ugh. What? No. I'm not heavy. Sure, I did eat a lot, but I keep things under control. Ugh. Let's go. Come on. A burgundy storybook. There was a little house deep in the woods. In this little house lived a mother, a father, and a girl. Their lives were very needy, but in kindness of her mo to her mother and father, the girl endured her hunger. It happened so very similarly, her mother, as if a changed person, began acting cold towards her daughter. As soon as her father went out, her mother dragged the girl out into it and told her this. There is no more food for you. You can't come back home. The woods are dark, and she didn't know her way back. The girl closed her eyes and thought, Why? Is it because I'm I was weak? That's why there's no food for me? And she mumbled to herself, a lone boy talked to the girl. I'll be strong, so you can be the weak. The girl was terribly surprised, and she said, Yes, that's right, before falling asleep. The girl renounced having to face up to herself. This area is a little weird. Hello, Fiona. Okay, that just looped. That looped. A vermilion storybook. There was a white house near a flower garden. In this white house lived a girl, a, mo a mother, a father, and a girl. The father rarely came home to the house. The mother was so old and frail, so the girl did up various tasks in her steed. One day, on an errand, the girl broke a promise with her mother and picked flowers in the garden. The girl went to her grandmother's house with a kind person she met there. For me. After the girl fetched some medicine, she returned to her grandmother's room to find out that she'd been eaten by a wolf. The girl was terribly scared and could not move from the spot. Then the wolf drew near her. The moment the wolf reached it, we reached for the girl. The girl was cut in twain. Behind the wolf stood her father, wielding an axe. The girl trembled at the sight of the slaughtered wolf and her red-stained father. Afterward, the girl ran all the way back home and locked herself in her room. There was a voice of her father. There was a voice of a girl, too. The girl. Father killed the person, but isn't it me who is most failing? Was that father? Was it a person? 
The more she thought about it, the more the scene was jumbled in her head, so she decided not to think about it. The girl announced to having acknowledged anything. A turquoise storybook. There was a large house in a large city, and in this large house lived a mother, a father, a boy, the boy's brother and sister, and many other people. The boy had many things forced upon him, and he grew tired of it all. He found it fun in sneaking out of his large house to adventure outside, then telling his mother of his escapades. Many of the stories were lies, but his mother delighted at them, had him on the head. One day, lightning struck, and the father's castle was ruined. The castle crumbled. There were no money. There was no money left. Last time the boy saw his father, he was floating in midair. The boy, the boy informed his mother, but his mother said this. What are you saying at a time like this? We're all very exhausted right now. Don't tell me such lies again. The boy tried to lead his mother to father again and again, but she let go of his hand every time. After some time, the boy's brother and sister led their mother towards where father was. When I say you, that you say it, that's, it's a lie. Why? It's because they have something and I have nothing. Did you know that they are all lies before? It's okay if you don't know their lies. The boy renounced having to improve himself. Joshua, Chelsea previously, and I think Letty before that. A black storybook. There was a little town deep in the woods. In this wood, there lived many people. They all lived healthy lives without sickness, but it struck suddenly one stormy night. A curse was laid in the, on the forest. Many victims of the curse died for every day, but a single girl did not fall victim to the curse. Many people felt pity for the girl who had lost her family to the curse, invited her into their homes. Yet the curse came once more, and the girl lost another family. After losing a fifth family, she met a person in a church who offered her an apple. This apple carries the curse of death. This, you can go to heaven with the rest of them. But the girl refused, and that person too died of the curse. That feels like a, it's a slight twist on Snow White. Here, have this apple! It, it's poisoned! So you can go die and be happy. Well, except like the, the the witch in the story didn't say that. It's like here, have an apple, take a bite, fall into a deep sleep. But in the story, Stella is like, nope. And the girl deeply regretted not eating that poison apple. Soon the girl began to harbor hatred for the living. The girl renounced to having any attachment to life. This smell. There are books here. Yes, there are aisles and aisles of books. Then maybe this is that library we used to go to. We loved it. All gone now. No, what a useless kid. Do you see a white notebook anywhere? If you do, tell me. What is it? <laughs> is that what you heard? The heart can't the, the heart can't hurt you in the dream. And you know, maybe heaven and hell are pretty similar in the end. There's a simple reason why you come here. Probably because you've lost XXX. Cat? You mean the one with the smarmy laugh? I wonder if he's the one I know. What? Do you believe everything that cat said? I said not sure every time. The words of a demon who treats people's sorrows as his feasts? How could you believe something you've never seen or experienced? Maybe because you believe because you have no clue. Ha! How strange. I was unintentionally selecting not sure knowing that that was an ending to be honest. Liars are everywhere. The world can hardly contain them all. And gullible people also everywhere. But it only it's only the gullible ones who get hurt. Not exactly true. Maybe God's just a sadist. Just kidding. Ah, I love the smell of books. I'm bracing myself for a doof. What's that? What is it? A photo? A girl? How long is her hair? Color? Is she young? You sure are, ki are kind for answering all those questions. Er, although, uh, whatever. That's my, our teacher. Beautiful, isn't she? She always wanted children and even found a fiance. She also said she was thinking of a, a name. I think it was, ah, right, Chelsea. Words are too small to read. Yeah. I guess. Name, name encyclopedia. Hmm, let me see that. That. Wow, it's bulky. So many names. <laughs> Interesting. Apparently my name means fright. My teacher gave it to me. 
I don't have parents. They must have abandoned me. I don't have many early memories. I asked the director for most of it. But it's fine. The beginning was so unhappy that I was happy every day. Hmm? Ah, uh, his name means receptacle a blank, I believe. Yet he was very, very afraid to receive it. He knows X. He was certainly X'd. By me, the doctor, the director, his new friend, absolutely. But he didn't realize that it was X, so I thought he never got it. It's not killed, it's love. I had it completely wrong. I thought it X negative connotation, not positive. Saying he never knew it is just an excuse. You know, XXX is all around us. Look, there's XX here and XX over there. Even talking to you now is show of my XXX for you, crybaby. When you realize that, that's when you have XXX for yourself. And if you don't notice, then you're no different from a pebble. That's kind of uh, brutal there. Yeah, variety of books, variety of books. Newspaper. Read it. Age 34 and 32, living in town, where break and murder from a husband. Son outside the incident occurred, claimed that shock upon returning memories. For Mo, the colonel, a cat, suddenly appeared. What's wrong? You're shaking. Wait. Cheshire? No, don't say a word. I know it's something you don't want to know. There, 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 there. That's my magic good luck charm. Found it? Good. Will you show it to me? Yes, it's blank. It's always been blank ever since then. No, it's okay. I just wanted to check. Let's go through the door. Whoa! Okay, we're leaving. Okay, maybe not. Looks like we're here. Oh. <laughs> I panicked because the, the wall changed, but it really it's just water with, I think, lily pads and such. Oh, it's a sky. A sky of souls. This is where they're reborn. Both eaten souls and souls that lose their power can be reborn. But I'm too weighed down to fly, so I can't. Ah, some choose to keep going even though they, when they're nothing but a soul. Fantastic power can be turned into equally awful power. But don't you think it's better to be reborn than to cling to one thing? You know, it's impossible to get a grown paper back to being creaseless. I'm no, you're, it's no good for me. I've lost my soul and my sparkle. To think that he's family, my only connection is well, but I'm ashamed of myself. My, I'm ashamed of myself. You, you should go back, grow to be people who can break away, renouncing and facing oneself, renouncing acknowledgement, renouncing and improving oneself, and renouncing attachment to life. And he renounced taking notice of anything around him. What you're about to see is the fate of a person who ends up that way. Let me guess, Cheshire. It's alright. Even though you feel you're as unhappy as you can be now, there's lots of happiness to be had. You're still a child, yes? Not... Oh, you're still children, yes? Not, not adults yet. Because I think she's referring to everyone else that's been here. Yes, so you have always need to be looking ahead. There's no point in looking behind. It's all up to you in the end. I hope we can meet again. Good night, crybaby. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? You've been spacing out. Well, as long as you're right, hurry open that door. That was interesting. Wait, hang on. I've been curious, because the bed doesn't do anything. Strange book, isn't it? But lots of people have read it. I wrote it, but the name is my friend's. Yes, I hate it. I know I've told you that again and again. The name itself is great. My teacher gave it to me. But I hate myself so much for not living up to the name. Can I leave? Oh, oh wait! Oh, there! There's the hole! There's the hole! It's not letting me enter! So I have nine. Okay, so... This... Is, <sighs> If I had said not sure to all of Cheshire's questions, because I think I might have actually said something other than not sure, there would be a circle right here by this door and asking you to go down. But sadly, I do not have that, and I don't think I'm going to play through the whole game just to get back to this point. So sadly, that's how we're going to end the game.
But I got six out of the seven endings, so that's not entirely bad. 